Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I have a haul video for you. It's kind of a uh, sizable haul. Um, it's not an Avon haul. This is the first time I have done a non-Avon haul in a really long time. Um, mostly because I curbed my shopping, <laughs> which is a good thing. But I do have some things um, that I picked up fairly recently and recently that I thought I would show you guys in case you're interested. Um, I did place an order on the Sephora VIB sale. I actually have another order coming. Uh, I did place a second one. Uh, it's only a few things, so I'll just tell you what I got uh, for that because I won't do a separate video to show it. Um, it's just a few things. But um, I picked up um, some things from Nordstrom also and then some things from Holt Look, some Korean beauty items that I thought I would show that you might be interested in because I'm always talking about Korean beauty and my sheet masks and different skincare and stuff. So, um... I'll start with that and then I'll get that over and done with and then we'll move on to the other stuff. Um, I picked up a few things from a Korean brand called Papa Recipe. I did get some sheet masks. I already have those put away. Um, I organized my sheet mask according to expiration date and those were um, pretty far out there. So I have them put away and I wasn't going to dig them out. But I got quite a few. The honey butter, the black, the black honey, um, the rose gold honey the rose gold honey butter and uh, just the regular honey masks pop recipe masks are fantastic and they actually smell like real honey they're thick and wonderful and delightful and I love those masks so I was really excited when I saw them on Hot Look um, so I picked up a couple other things I have not opened this yet this is the pop recipe Bombay honey moist cleansing oil um, it's just a basic oil cleanser to remove your makeup in your double cleansing process which I do use um, the double cleansing process so here is the bottle for that really excited to use that I also purchased a foaming honey cleanser and I am currently using that right now I'm not crazy about it but I'm gonna try to stick it out and finish it um, but yeah so I did purchase that cleanser also uh, and then I got these Papa Recipe Eggplant Toner Pads. Is that Eggplant Clearing Peeling Pad Toner. Sometimes if you purchase Korean beauty products, you'll notice that their translation is a little awkward and off, but that's what these are. Eggplant pads. Um, so I have not opened these yet either because I currently have opened some of my Avon uh, Glycolic Acid Pads. I don't remember exactly what they were called at the moment, but... Um, I'm using those so that's what this is just the um, just the pads and I haven't opened those yet but I'm excited to use those because like I said I really like the Papa recipe brand really good all right um I have this uh, from skin 79 which is another Korean beauty brand this is the golden snail intensive eye cream and it is for moisturizing whitening and anti-wrinkle so if you're not into cream beauty or you don't know much about it, <laughs> there is a lot of snail mucin products, which kind of can freak you out at first. But once you're used to it, it's not a big deal. So um, this is actually a repurchase for me. This is my second tube. I got um, the first tube of it. First of all, it's huge. I mean, just really, really a big tube of eye cream, you know. <laughs> it like amazed me how big this was but um I got this tube after I had been using the SK2 brand I had two trial size eye creams from them that I really liked but it's super expensive if you're familiar with that brand it's like um like $119 or something for the eye cream and I really 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 liked it but I there's no way I was going to pay $119 for the eye cream so I had bought this off of a whole look so I used this after the SK2 and I liked it just as much, if not more, than the SK2. I really think I have seen results with this. Um, my eye area is firmer. I think it's lifted. My brow area is like lifted up. Um, I, just overall, everything, the elasticity, the appearance, the way it feels, I really, really like this. So the one I'm using is almost gone now. And when this popped back up on Holt Look, I ordered another one. And I really, really, really recommend this. So that is the Skin 79 Golden Snail Intensive Eye Cream. And I think it's about $20 to $25. So um, that was on the Holt Look price. So it wasn't bad, you know. Okay, another product is from Skinnick, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I don't know for sure if that's how you say it. Sorry, my I have like one of those, I call them those no bra bras. <laughs> Not really a sports bra, but just like a lounging around the house kind of bra. 
Um, and uh, so I picked it up. This is the brand. I don't know how exactly how you pronounce it. But this is the Honey All-in-One Ampule. And if you're not familiar with what an ampule is, it's an all-in-one type product. So it's going to take the place of your essence and your emulsion and your first lotion and all of that. And if you're not into a Korean beauty system, that might seem weird to you and you don't really know what I'm talking about. But it comes with a little paddle to scoop out the product. And this is what it looks like. Just a jar of honey. So I have not opened yet, that yet though, but I will be soon because my skin is dry, dry, dry right now. I guess it's from the winter weather, but I am drier at the moment than I have ever been, that I can ever remember. My skin is actually flaking. Um, sometimes it's so dry, so that's weird, but dealing with that. And then also I have this same brand. And this is the Honey Moist Cream. So it's just a moisturizing cream. I'll probably use it at night. If it's not too uh, moisturizing, then I can use it under my makeup also, but um, for sure I got it to use at night, and this is what that looks like. As you can tell, I'm really into my skincare. <laughs> okay, and then the last thing I got is from the brand Goodall, and if you watched my empties video, you might remember I had a little trial size of a, of a Goodall Premium Snail Tone-Up Cream that I really liked. This is the Anti-Wrinkle Want Night Sleep Cream Pack in Lavender. Again, the translation to the English is a little bit awkward always. Um, but when it says pack, it just means mask. And this is just a sleeping mask. So it's a lavender sleeping mask. Lavender scented. And lavender is good for sleep. So, you know, that should be a good sleeping mask. And that's just in a jar like so and it did not come with like a little paddle so that'll be getting opened up soon also oh, I, can hear, I can hear Frank and his meow so put those away all right so moving on so that I don't knock anything over I always get so like start to get warm when I do these videos. <laughs> Alright, so from Nordstrom, I picked up just two things. Um, one of them is the half dozen egg cream mask set from Too Cool for School. So these are a set of sheet masks. Hey Frank, what you doing? What? What's in the other? Are you going to go up in the window? Okay, don't knock my camera over. <laughs> so this has got six masks in it. It's the half dozen holiday recipe. Oh, he's just... Go ahead. <laughs> there we go. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so this is the holiday recipe uh, half dozen. So there's six masks in here, and they are from Too Cool for School, which is a Korean beauty brand. And we have two hydration, two port tightening and two of the firming. I have used their hydration before. It's the creamiest mask I've ever used. Well, let me say it. One of the creamiest masks. The other one is the honey butter from the Papa Recipe, but it's extremely hydrating. Um, so I'm really excited to try the other masks in this line. So I, when I saw that sat on Nordstrom, I was like, yes, I will definitely do that. And then the other thing that I grabbed was actually for Keith. And it is this a Jack Black Mr. Big set. It's the tag. And it has the um, 16 ounce beard lube in it, the face buff energizing scrub, and the uh, face moisturizer. And he's never used, the only product of these that he has used is the beard lube. He really, really likes that for shaving. Um, he says it does a good job. And when I saw this, I thought, well, um, it's nice to have these holiday bonus sizes and everything, so I picked that up for him. So I'm put that down here. And so that's those are the two things that I picked up from Nordstrom. Now the rest is from Sephora. And I got him another Jack Black set. This one is um, the Jack Black Unbeatable Beard set. And it contains the beard oil, the beard a wash, a wax, and a travel size of the beard lube, which I thought would be nice for like if we go stay out at my mom's or 
um, you know, go away for a few days or anything like that, that he would be able to use that. So, and he's never used any of these products before. Like I said, the only one he's used is the Beard Lube, and he does like that quite a bit. So, all right. And then I got another Too Cool for School mask set. This one was from Sephora, and it has the same masks that the Nordstrom set does, except for the ceramide. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Coconut Ceramade. And then the other four are the ones that were in the first set that I showed you from Nordstrom. So I'm very excited to try those. Uh, more masks. Don't be shocked. I have a lot of masks. <laughs> you know, I'm a sheet mask junkie. This is the Dr. Jart Tarot one through seven of masks. Look how cute that packaging is. I did pick up the Dr. Jart holiday set last year and I really, really enjoyed all those masks. Dr. Jart masks are on the spendy side, so they're not usually what I would buy. I don't like to, to spend that much for my masks. I'm like a one, I like to spend for my everyday masks like a dollar to two dollars and, and that's it. Um, but there are times that I, I'm needing a, a treatment or extra hydration or I have an event that I want to you know have good skin for so then I'll pull out these these big buck masks <laughs> so um I like I said I don't get Dr. Jart masks any other time of year other than the holiday when they have these sets but these are the ones that are going to be included in this set there is um hydrator a fighter, illuminator, the overnighter, the brightener, the maker, and the lover. So I'm not really sure what those are all about. I do know this has a rubber mask in it, and I've never used one of those. I'm a little bit uh, suspicious and freaked out by that, but we'll, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. And then I picked up the Sephora collection face mask magic sheet, six sheet masks. Um, and I have had a couple of the Sephora masks before. Not super crazy about the ones I tried, but these are different. Well, I think I tried the Lotus before but and the Pearl. But this has algae, orchid, avocado, and pomegranate. And I have not tried those four. So I was really excited. I can always take out the two that I didn't care for, which was the Pearl and the Lotus. And I can give those uh, to somebody. So we can do that. Then I have the Clarisonic Radiance Brush Head. I do use Clarisonic for my face. Also, I use it on my chest and my neck. And I like the Radiance Brush Head, so I got the double pack because um, I don't have to worry about it for another year. Well, I actually, I still have one that I'm getting ready to switch over from last year. It's double pack. So I don't change my brush head as often as they tell you to. They say to change it every three months, but I don't use my Clarisonic every day. Sometimes I only use it like twice a week or three times a week. And I don't think that I put enough stress on the brush head to require changing it every two months or three months. So this will last me until the new year of 2019. So I'm good with that. And I like the Radiance brush head the best of all the ones I've tried so far. And I've tried the Deep Pour, Sensitive, and the regular one. And this one I like is the one I like the best. Okay, I don't have a ton more stuff. Um, I did pick up a liquid lipstick set from Kat Von D, the Extra Lasting, or I'm sorry, Everlasting, Extra Lasting is my Avon. <laughs> the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. I have never tried a liquid lipstick from Kat Von D, and I know they have quite a cult following. Everyone says how great they are. Um, I usually get the Stila ones, and I really, really like those. Those have kind of a different formula. It's like a whipped formula. I also like the ones from the Sephora brand, but those are also kind of like a cream or a whipped formula. These are more of a true liquid lipstick. So they go on very wet and then they dry down. I do have one on today. I just pulled it out. It is the one in Madrid and it says that's a new shade. I think it's a beautiful color. I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful color. <laughs> I love it. I think it goes well with my hair color. I think it. it's just a really nice shade. I like it a lot. So these are the other shades that they have in there. And I've never bought these before, but so far I'm glad I purchased them. I tried one the other night and wore it for a while and then this one today. I'm just a huge liquid lipstick fan. That's my favorite type of lipstick and it's what I like to wear. So I'm excited about these. 
Um, the next thing I grab is another lip, another lipstick set from Kat Von D. And this is the Rock Candy Studded Lipstick Set. This was in their sale section. Um, so even besides the VIB sale, they had a, a separate sale section. And I picked these up. Um, these are the Rouge Studded Lip Studded Kiss and the Rosetta Studded, Studded Kiss. I've not tried any of these either. So, um, oh, taste the sweeter side of Studded Kiss with six brand new shades in a super limited colorful uh, design. <coughs> so the packaging is really, really cute. And here are the shades that you get. And it's kind of nice because I know Kat Von D has a lot of those darker, deep shades. And so these are more wearable. Um, the gray one, not too sure how much I'll wear that, but still, I think it was like 20 something dollars. Um, wasn't bad at all, plus the discount. So, so I just think they're really cute. Again, showing you my no bra bra. Okay. We're coming down to the end <laughs> and so then I also picked up two of these this is the Shiseido co facial cotton I really 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 like this cotton um I think it's $11 or it might be $12 but it's very very soft and I bought a package of this and I really really liked it and I used it up and then I thought I would try the um the Muji cotton, which is a Korean or Japanese, I'm sorry, Japanese. I pardon me. I'm getting, I'm just getting a little, you know how I get. <laughs> um, a Muji cotton, which is a Japanese brand. And I liked that, but that was unbleached. So it had like these little brown flecks in it. And that's not a big deal, but I would get like kind of paranoid. Like, is that coming? Is that brown fleck from the cotton? Is it coming off my skin? You know, I didn't really know. So finally, when those were gone, I just ended up using grocery store cotton um, that I got at my local grocery store. It was not the same. It is not as soft, not anywhere near as soft. I will still use that kind for taking off my nail polish and stuff like that, but for my face, these are my tried and true and I love them and I'm glad I went back. So I did buy two of these because oh, they're so nice. It's just super, super nice. So if you've not used that before, I would suggest that little splurge for yourself because it's a really nice feeling cotton. And then lastly, I used um, a 250 point to get a point perk and it is the Miss Dior perfume from Dior. And I never had this before. I used to work with somebody a long time ago that wore it all the time, and she it smelled really good on her. So I thought, you know what? I will try it. And it is the cutest little bo little bottle, and it's just a little dabber. I don't know if I can pick it up, sometimes these little things are hard for me to grab. So it's got that little bow on it. It's really really cute. But um. I tried it and it's so good. It smells so nice. I love it, love it, love it, love it. It's just delightful. So I'm really, really glad I picked it up. And I'm really glad that I have this little size of it because I have been trying to go through my perfumes. Um, I didn't stick to my project pan and my project use it up for the year, although I have moved through quite a lot of products and I am gonna start doing empties videos again. Um, because I got some positive feedback on my last one, but I have been using consistently my perfumes and I finished up four bottles of perfume, two full size, and then also I finished two trial sizes that are like this size um, of, let's see, Nest and... Um, La Vanilla. So, and then the two full size I finished, no, I finished three full size, I'm sorry. Two of those were Avon and one of them was Escada. So I am working through my perfumes and I'm doing really good and I'm proud of myself um, for that. I just, uh, I just don't need another big bottle of perfume right now because I actually got another bottle uh, for my anniversary. Um, Keith and I were out shopping and I ended up getting, we went out shopping on our anniversary and they ended up getting an Escada, the now, it's called, hold on, it's called Celebrate the Nature of Women. So it's now and that smells really good also. And that's the first Escada perfume I've had that wasn't like from their, like their seasonal summer line. Usually I get the summer perfume every year. 
for my birthday and I really really like those because they're fun and they're beachy and summery and they're easy to use up because they don't last a long time so you can reapply throughout the day. Um, I really like those but this is the first time I've purchased one an Escada perfume that was not in like a limited uh, summer pack uh, line or packaging so but it smells really good also and it's really pretty. I'll show, you know what I'll show you the bottle. <laughs> it's really pretty. There we go. Nothing like me and not how I don't edit anything. <laughs> so this is what the um, the, bo the box looks like. And then on the other side, it's got that. And then the bottle is pretty. And I haven't used it since I bought it because, like I said, I've been doing really good using my other perfumes and stuff like that. But the bottle is really pretty. And then on the back, it's got these, like, hearts. And it's just a small bottle. It's like the one, 1. 1.6 or 1 ounce. I can't remember what is it. Oh, 1 fluid ounce is what that, what that is. And I did purchase that at Kohl's. And it's very nice. It's, it's really pretty. So... Well, you guys, that's my haul video. So I had some things building up. And like I said, I do have um, my second item, my other items that haven't shipped yet from Sephora. <clears throat> uh, but that's just skincare stuff again. And it's the um, Too Cool for School Pumpkin Sleeping Mask. The um, Glow Recipe Watermelon Sleeping Mask that I bought because Janie got it and she made me do it. <laughs> And um, I got another one of the Bite Beauty Agave lip masks because I, that's a repurchase for me. I've, I think this is my, the fourth one I've purchased and it is so good for my dry lips uh, at nighttime. And because I like these liquid lipsticks that dry, are very drying, uh, it's very helpful. And I really like that product a lot. Like I said, this is the fourth one I've picked up. And then I got a little tiny kit from Laneige, which is a Korean brand of a um, lip mask and a sleeping mask, I believe. And that was only like a little $10 kit. So that stuff still has yet to ship. So, so that is my haul for Sephora, Nordstrom, and I guess Holt Look. Um, but yeah, don't be anticipating another haul video like this anytime soon because I just haven't been doing that kind of shopping anymore like I used to. So my hair is just my hair. I'm always hot and sweaty and me. <laughs> But um, thanks you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. And you can question or comment below. Let me know what you guys got in the um, sale or if you didn't shop the sale. And um, I will see you in the next video.